Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. This is my Valentine's Day special tutorial for 2022 and in today's video I'll be teaching you all how to build this very very romantic picnic setup just here but not just a picnic setup, we're going to be building this lovey dovey <laughs> hot air balloon as well and uh, yeah I think this is like super romantic, I think this looks so cool, I'm really really happy with the way it came out. But yeah, if we look at some of the details, we've got uh, lights in each of the hearts on the balloon, so that if you're at the night time, like I am now, uh, this thing will glow in your night sky and look really cool. And then down here we of course have the uh, the main fire for the, the hearts inside and whatnot, and the balloon. And then below it we have a little picnic set up here, so you and your loved one can sit here and enjoy some cake whilst you look at the stars. So yeah, we're going to be building this today. Let's get some materials and get started with today's tutorial. So to begin, we're going to take ourselves these materials here. Now one thing I will say before we do begin is this balloon looks way more confusing than it actually is to build. But if anyone does get stuck, please remember to ask me any questions you may have down in the comments below. And if you need to pause the video because I go too quickly, of course feel free to do that as well. We're going to take some beehives, some birch wood stairs, some birch fence gates, some birch fences, some red and some white carpet, some cake, of course cake, <laughs> and some birchwood slabs as well as some iron bars. So the first thing to do is go to your starting position, so whether it be on the actual grass down there or way up in the sky like I have here. We're going to go ahead and build a nine block radius with our beehives. So we're going to go ahead and place number one in the center and then I'm going to go ahead and build just around it like this. So we have nine blocks in total. Now the next thing to do is to make sure we don't have any of these little slits for the bees to come in and out of uh, exposed on our basket. So we're going to go ahead and turn these inside out basically, like this, just to cover up all those little holes. We're trying to make this look all nice and filled up and no gaps, we don't want anyone falling out of the basket. <laughs> there we go. And then this one as well, and there we have it. Then we remove that one under there. Okay, so this is my start starting position, this is the 9 blocks. I'm going to go ahead and take a, a um, birchwood stair and place one upside down here, and then here, then here, and one here as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and place myself 3 beehives on top of these, but going out by one on both sides. So we're going to go ahead and stick our middle one, let's face it backwards, like so. So that little hole is facing inwards, and then we'll do, we might have to change these afterwards, but for now we'll just do them like this coming out from the middle one on both sides like so. If you do like the, the sort of holes sticking out there you can leave them in if you want to um, but what I'm going to do quickly is just go ahead and spin these all around by placing a temporary block here and then making all these less holy if that makes sense so I'll be right back. So there we go that is looking really clean and awesome. Let's go ahead and stick a gate just here so in line with the stair uh, one here and then one here and the final one here. If you want to open them all up they're going to look like little ladders to get in and out of the basket by, which look pretty cool. Then we'll go ahead and build a fence just here, going up for three. One, two, three. Another one just here for three. Here as well. And finally here as well, like so. Then we can go ahead and build these out on the top by adding one, but then go out on both sides by one. So on the fourth one, you just come out on both sides by a block each. And then you kind of have these little antenna, <laughs> like so. That is going to, of course, connect to the basket, uh, connect the basket to the balloon, and then everything will be uh, in ship shape, or balloon shape in this case. Then we'll go ahead and stick ourselves an iron bar here, 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 and here. Don't worry, they won't connect up. That is the whole point of them. We can actually get in and out of that little gap. Whereas this, this was a normal fence, it would just, you know, connect up normally. But it's helpful that we use these. And it does look much, much better to hold up the campfire than normal wood, because fire and wood, you know how that goes. So <laughs> the next thing to do is to go down here, place a cake in the center. Then we'll go ahead and take ourselves white carpet here and here, and then here and here. And then we'll stick ourselves a birchwood slab here and here. And then we'll do red in the final corners like so. There we have two little seats, a cake, and a little picnic rug in there as well looking awesome. You can of course do this the opposite way around, so you can place red in here, then white up here. Whichever you want to do, that will work 
And actually, I think that may look a little bit better, but it's up to you guys if you want to do that, go for it. Okay, I think that's all the materials we can use here. Let's get some more. So for our next step, let's go ahead and take ourselves some iron trap doors, some campfires, some chains, some red banners, and some white terracotta and red concrete. These are going to be the materials we use majority for the balloon, um, but then we will need to grab some birch again afterwards and probably some stream lights to uh, make the hearts look nice. So firstly, let's take our red banners and go ahead and place one here, here, here and here, here and here, and then two more on this side, like so. Cool. Then we'll go ahead and use our red concrete and we'll place one here, here, here and here. Nice and symmetrical, which is awesome. Then we'll go ahead and build ourselves white terracotta on all four of those. And then you can build yourself one, two, one, two, one just there, one, two, one, two, and then one here and one here. Oh, and I missed one, one here, like so. So we have this radius up here. So it's a very, very weird looking cube. It's kind of like it's been taken <laughs> out of the corners there. Well, I've taken in the middle. But that looks good. That is the start of our balloon. Now if we go back on the inside of this, we can actually build the campfire and uh, make sure everything is looking good in here and make sure we have power to the actual balloon. So if you want to come to one of your chains, sorry, one of your iron bars, doesn't matter which one, if we go ahead and stick ourselves two chains down from it, like so, then the top one up here, you can stick a campfire next to, and then the bottom one at the top of it, you can stick an iron trap door. And that'll be underneath the campfire like so. And that should go in the direct center of our nice weird shape just here. Yeah, that looks good. Brilliant. Nice work, guys. Let's get on to the next step. So now we're only going to use ourselves our white uh, terracotta, sorry, and our red concrete. So if you wanted to remove all the other materials, feel free to do so. Let's place red here, 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 and oops, here. Phew, that did go in the right space. And then if you drop down on in, you can actually see that everything around the underside of the white is just red. So even the red banners, they kind of help us in uh, this space. <laughs> can't speak. This space just here. That looks really good. Now we'll go ahead and make like a, a bit of a 3D shape going upwards. So this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So remember, if you need to pause the video, please remember to do so. Let's go ahead and place a block here, 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 and here of red. There we go. Then we'll build two out on all sides, like so. So two out from the center one, so it becomes a five block radius. So now we have like a, a square here, but it's five blocks on all sides. Awesome. Then we'll just go ahead and build out one, and then kind of correlate it to the two below, like this. That looks good. And then this middle one up here, you can actually change this one to be just a one as well so it goes like in to a bit of a diagonal now this is a little bit awkward so i'm going to go check this and i'll be right back so yep yeah, nope that's all looking good i uh, i got a little bit in over my head and i was looking at it thinking have we done that right but yeah we have a few <laughs> that's my fault if, if we messed up it would have been my fault anyways but oh fly me okay let's go ahead and build ourselves a, a white terracotta here 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 and here and then we want to go ahead and build these out for two blocks on both sides again. So we're kind of making what we did with the red, but uh, just with white terracotta. And then we kind of alternate these as we go up the balloon, which is really nice. We kind of make that heart shape there, make it look like it's really, really glowing and uh, without the light, just glowing with the red, which looks nice. And red is a very, very like love color, isn't it? It's the, it's the sort of color of love, I guess you could say. Then we'll go ahead and stick ourselves a block of red here, block of red here, block of red in the middle, and one around the side as well, like so. At the moment it's looking like, um, uh, what's that cat called? The cat, oh, the cat in the hat, of course. <laughs> it's looking like the cat in the hat's hat. Right, and then we go ahead and stick ourselves a white here, here, and then one here, 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 and here, 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 and here, then here, here, and here. Cool. The next thing to do is to build this upwards. Now this gets a little bit weird. We're going to go ahead and place ourselves two white here and here, here and here, but then we're going to build out on both sides. So if you imagine yourself to have a, a cube here 
and we want to go ahead and make sure we've got like enough faces on the cube to make it into a 3D shape. We have this face here, this one, this one, and a fourth one round here. So we're trying to make every single one symmetrical so we can end up building the hearts on it and it will look all awesome. So we want to come down here next and to these pillars. I'm going to build tear out on all sides. So this should have two lots on one pillar. So there's another two, another lot, and a final lot here, like so. So we have this weird looking shape now. Cool. Let's go ahead and stick ourselves a red up here. Um, like, ooh, let's just, actually, let's go for here first. Two there. Then we'll do two here. Then we'll do two around the corner. Two here, 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 and then this one as well, like so. Now the next thing to do is to take your red and go one, two, one, two, so up from the single one, just diagonally like so. And then, yep, yeah, we've already done that one, good, good. Okay, then we'll go ahead and take our white terracotta again, and we'll build up for one, two in the middle. One, two, on all sides like so. Next we'll go ahead and build one and then two out on both sides. So we want it to be like a 3D shape but also worth three just here. Like that and then a final one around here. Like that. I know it's looking super weird at the moment but we'll get there in the end. That is looking good though. Yeah we can see the direction it's going to go so that's that's the main thing. If you want to go ahead and like build in here, this little space down here, if you'd like to go ahead and stick yourself a temporary red block just here, so you can build one up, feel free. Let's just do that as well, on all sides. This will uh, separate all of the white terracotta together to make it less of a, well, just like a massive white balloon uh, to be both colors instead. There we go, that looks lovely. I did take my um, the picture I'm using to, to build this for my phone, um, which is a picture of this side over here. Look, I missed a block, so I'm kind of getting myself confused. <laughs> that was so silly. There we go. But yeah, that's, that's looking awesome. I'm now going to go ahead and check my dimensions and everything, and I'll be right back. So yeah, everything is looking really good at the moment. Let's go ahead and place ourselves a white terracotta in this space here, so we can build almost like really, really stubby looking tees on um, all sides like so. And then once you have that, you can then build these upwards and kind of surround where our hearts are going to be. So we're getting to the top of the balloon now. I'm sorry, I should have made it on the same level, but I thought it would be really cool to have like one a little bit higher than the other and kind of make a scene here. But uh, yeah, that may have been a little bit of an error. <laughs> Let's go ahead and build one block here and here. And then we'll do the same on all sides. So we turn our stubby little T into a Y like so. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and build it out on both sides by one block. Oops, not forward. Out on the sides so the Y becomes not a letter. <laughs> like so. Actually, it looks like a cooler Y. And then we're going to build this up again. So we want to have ourselves about three lots of these red besides it and below it. So we're going to build up again on the corners. On all four sides very very important to get them all the same like so so now it's starting to look like bunny ears perfect and then if you want to come into the space down here and you want to build the red up for a block and then out for a block just so that you can then have yourself a bit of a uh, like three blocks underneath of it that would actually be really cool and it helps us with the overall shape so we can like you know connect the sides together in the middle here awesome Okay, if you want to go ahead and build yourself up now with another white terracotta on these ones. We go ahead and finish up that section there. That looks lovely. Now we'll go ahead and take ourselves some red concrete. And we'll actually come to the middle one. And we're going to build out for two. Two here, two here, two here, and two here. So we're just going to go ahead and like outline the white terracotta with the red concrete like this. Then the same around the corner, like so. Cool. You can really see how that's going to be useful now. Then we'll go ahead and build these upwards. So we're actually going to come into the insides and we're just going to go ahead and connect them, like so. So it looks like a mini heart just there. 
It's all about hearts, this tutorial, which is awesome. I'm saying awesome way too much, aren't I? <laughs> there we go. Cool. And then we'll go ahead and build these ones up for about three blocks in total. So we have number one. Let's just add two layers on top. So the heart becomes, well, just a big claw. It looks like a giant hand or something. There we go. Then these ones as well. Like so. Cool. If you want to go into the insides now and you want to build like a shadow, if you want to go ahead and build two here, two here, and then three on all of these hearts, then um, that'll help us with the 3D shape. So the next thing to do, once we've had this sort of uh, backboard to the hearts, sorry I had to cut that recording off by the way, <laughs> my voice was going super bad. Um, we're going to go ahead and just go to the white terracotta here, and we're going to use this to start off. We're going to build two, two, and a final two to make it into a three block high shape, but for two layers, if that makes sense. I hope so. Like so. And we're doing this on all of the corners and all of the sides. Again, symmetry is really, really important. Like so. And then you, the way to check this, if you've done it right, is you want to go down here. And you've got your number one. You count the terracotta below it. Then you go one, two, and three. One, two, and three on all sides. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. And if they're all at the same height, you're all up to up to scale and uh, done it correctly. That's awesome. Now we'll go ahead and build inwards. So this gets a little bit tricky. We'll build two blocks here and here. So two, two, oops, two and two, and I destroyed mine. <laughs> two and two, and then you can build these upwards for two, just past the uh, the normal shape we have here, like so, and then you can build them outwards. So once you have all four done, it's probably best to do it afterwards. Then you build them up to scale with this one. As you can see, it's looking like a heart. Cool. And then we'll do these ones. Like so. So all of our hearts are looking cool. Finally, add in a block in the middle. Just so your heart is not very... Well, it's starting to look a little bit more like a heart, like so. And then if you want to fill this shape in, feel free. It'll be nice to uh, have this ready to go. I think we're going to finish the balloon before we add in the actual glowing hearts, just so that we can build the shroom lights on the inside and whatnot. But for now, at least, if you want to show your uh, love on the balloon or its progress or something, if you may be building this a little bit too late, close to uh, Valentine's, then uh, you can say, I'm working on something, don't worry. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, uh, I think the next thing to do is to go to the three here and build white terracotta on all sides like so and I might need to change it to day of time again in a minute why did I say day of time daytime in a minute because uh, it is getting very very dark there we go lovely all right I'll be right back so to get every single corner filled in here as you can tell we have four missing corners here and we don't really want a deflating balloon especially not at this altitude. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we've got everything up to scratch and looking complete. Let's build two white concretes in, oh sorry, white terracottas in here on the inside of the balloon, like so. And then you just want to build one on the outside. And that should be in line with these ones of uh, red concrete. Awesome. Okay, now we'll go ahead and build ourselves two lots of red. We're going to go to, for <laughs> I'm going to go for two red in the center, two red just here, here and over this way, like so, and then you can build two out on all sides, once again. It's quite a repetitive build, but it does look good once it's done, which is really nice. There we go. And then finally, take yourself three lots of red up here, three again, and three again, and then build three in the center. If you want to knock out the three behind that, just to keep the shape on the inside going, absolutely do so. Or you could just build three here, three here, then the three on the outside, instead of building that one there, like I did a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, nice. So, three, three, and then three. Then we'll do ourselves three, three, and three. And that is all the sides done. 
Yeah. I really like this tutorial. I think this is one of my my most proud ones. I built this and I was like, wow, this is insane. Like, you know, sitting down here, it was really, really nice to uh, just, I don't know, just chill here for a bit and be like, wow, this is cool. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that you guys uh, enjoy this tutorial as much as I do. So um, thank you for building. Really do appreciate it. Now, the next thing to do is to build upwards and build this into a very, very balloon looking shape. So this is going to get a little bit tricky as well. So remember, the pause button is always there if you need it. And remember to comment any questions down below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Okay, I'll be right back to get some more dimensions done. So currently we have f uh, four, sorry, I almost said three, that would have been weird, four very, very blocky looking hearts. So we needed to make this into a bit more of a, uh, I don't know, like a circular shape. That's why we use this sort of corner here, and then we do that on all of the sides as well. So to do that, we're going to take ourselves our white terracotta again. We're going to stick a block here, and then we'll do two over the heart, a block in the middle, two over the heart again, and a block here like so. So we're surrounding the entire heart with white concrete. White terracotta. Will you, what are you doing? <laughs> white terracotta. Oh my goodness. I am colorblind, but there is a difference between white concrete and terracotta. They look very, very different. The reason I chose this material is because it looks a little bit more, uh, I don't know, smoother, I guess you could say, than white co concrete. White concrete looks a little bit too hospital-like, and um, yeah, I wasn't really a fan of it, so I went with the white because it looks just like a soft colour. And I think for like a heart-shaped balloon, that kind of fits in really nicely. But there we go, we have ourselves outlined hearts ready to go. The next thing to do is to take our red, uh, red concrete, oh my goodness, and place two just here. <laughs> two here, I'm going to cry. And then two here. <laughs> and a final two this side as well. Yeah, nice. Then we come to the white terracotta up here. Yeah, I said it right. And we'll do two, 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 and two. Make sure to face them away from the heart so they're going into the corners over here and not to the center. The center has its own little way of going up into a sort of pyramid shape. There we go. All looking good. Then we'll go ahead and build ourselves three in the center here, three in the center, three in the center three in the middle and that is all four sides done then we'll take our white terracotta and we'll build three three so that the first one is in the center three and then a final three over this way now then here add in a red that goes up to two one two and then a final two over this way and then you can take your white terracotta again and you can go to this one you can build an entire seven block shape just behind your three on a, again all four sides it is really helpful once you get one side done it's quite hard to mess up all the others uh, don't get me wrong it's definitely possible I've done it multiple times so if you guys do make a mistake mistakes can be made and uh, we can just learn from them so please don't threat about making any errors I did that so many times when I was planning that one, <laughs> so please don't worry about it. So now all that's left to do is to take your red, go ahead and place three here, three up here, three over here, and three here. As you can see they sort of go down and then they drop down two blocks for this middle part of the heart. Back up the top here, connect these along, so just run them along to the other side and connect them, Not no matter how many blocks it takes, and then we'll do the same here just to make a very very big plus sign so when you zoom up it looks like a plus cool if you want to drop back down and go ahead and fill in the gaps just by adding in basically four four squares <laughs> like this then you have that shape there and then we'll go ahead and take ourselves white terracotta we'll build two blocks in on all four si uh, sides or corners and we'll build one two three one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we build this cube here and we outline a nine block radius on the inside. This nine blocks will then go ahead and build red concrete for a layer and then a final layer at the top here as well, like so. There we have our heart shaped balloon looking a bit bare at the moment, but it is basically there. Look at that, beautiful, awesome stuff. Okay, let's get the final materials we need. 
for our actual smaller hearts. So firstly, we'll take ourselves some birch wood stairs, some birch wood planks, and some stream lights. We're going to go to all four hearts on our balloon, and we're going to do the exact same thing over and over. So we'll go to this block here, we'll build, uh, we'll knock it through all the way into the heart, and like so. And then we'll go ahead and build one, two, one, two, one, two. So we have this little pocket shape, this little smile. We'll build a block out on both sides of these. We'll build down, going back into this little shape here. And then we'll build this one down for two, like so. Now then once we uh, go ahead and put the stream lights in, we're gonna box this out again. So we're gonna build it a bit more 3D on the inside. So we'll go ahead and build ourselves two layers of stream lights for now, like so. So we have like a very, very small looking heart in here. And then we'll go ahead and build, build it just a bit more 3D on the inside of the balloon, like so. That looks lovely. If you want to go ahead and outline it on the inside of your balloon first, and then maybe block it out on the, uh, the outside, up to the stream lights and then continue it, that could work really well, like so. And then again, like so. Now if you just want to fly out, just go down below, come out and then we'll do the same on all four sides as this one. So let's go to this one. Perfect. Once you can see the shroom lights, victory. <laughs> it's like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. This is kind of the Minecraft version of that saying. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. And then around this side as well. And it looks so nice when it's uh, dark or it's getting dark. And it will look really cool in a survival world. I'll do my best to put all the survival material lists in the uh, description. So if you have a survival world as well, you can always go ahead and try and build it on there too. Best of luck to you if you do that because I would never be able to do that. I'd get super, super lazy trying to get the materials. <laughs> oh man. Right, there we go. And then around this way as well. Almost there now. Is that all four? Yep. Perfect. So you could leave it at this, but again, it looks a little bit tacky. So we're going to go ahead and make it just that little bit extra cleaner and whatnot by adding in ourselves our actual heart. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a red concrete here and here again, just because when we build the stairs, it kind of uh, kind of takes a little bit away from uh, the light that we can use here. So take yourself a uh, stair just in here and one here here and here. We'll go ahead and stick two blocks besides it on both sides. Oh, that was not a good idea. <laughs> two blocks like so. And then we're going to go ahead and build a stair here and here, here and here, like so. So you have these two little pockets with your stairs back to back. I'll build one heart and then I'll, you guys can probably do the rest on your own, but I will go through it with you just in case. We'll go down here and we'll build an upside down stair just here and one here, oops, like so. Then we'll do an entire row of three blocks. Then we'll do an upside down stair and another one here. Then we'll do a block here and an upside down stair just to end it like so. Beautiful. Around here, we'll do the stairs back to back on top. We'll do a stair upside down below three blocks here, stair upside downs going back in, a block here and an upside down stair. We'll do ourselves upside down stairs below, three blocks, upside down stairs here and here, a block and upside down stair. Then we'll do ourselves stairs back to back like so, around the corner, stairs back to back again. Then we'll do them below, upside down, a block row just here of three and then upside down stairs back to back with one block in the middle a block in the middle and an upside down stair to end that off and there you have yourself a heart shaped hot air balloon for valentine's day well that is it for this wheel and guide guys thank you so much for joining me on this awesome tutorial quest <laughs> i really hope you've had fun building it and i really hope that it does uh make your loved ones happy um or if you built it for yourself i, I hope it makes you happy as well 
thank you so much. If you could do me one last favour and drop a like, that'd be awesome. And if you are interested in staying tuned for future tutorials and uploads, please consider joining the Assassin Hood today for free by hitting that subscribe button. That'd be awesome to see. Uh, finally, I have some links in my description to uh, my social media accounts. So if you have things like Instagram and Twitter and you get a spare five minutes, if you could drop me a follow on those, that'd really help me out as well. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves. Have an excellent Valentine's 2022. And um, yeah, be safe and take care. Thank you so much, assassins. Goodbye for now.